Excuse me, sir. I'm not sure. Are you family or friend? Um, family. Adam Gaines. One moment, please. So you're Adam, Gladys and Rogers, boy. Glad you could come, Adam. I'll bet you don't remember. But I saw you when you were just a teeny little bugger. I used to help your mother bathe you when we visited her for a week. Back in 1943, when your daddy did that marvelous radio program. You were... Cute as the devil, and smart as a whip, even then. I hear you're going to be a doctor. Um, PhD. Semantics. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, the specialists are always in demand. Our boy's planning on being a chiropodist. Glad you could come here to see Grandma Sanders. It's it's a shame you couldn't have made the trip when she could have enjoyed you. <laughs> <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman, for her price is far above rubies? Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Put some picture windows in this house of hers, improve the resale value. But Emily Sanderson, she was close with a penny. Well, come on in. Everybody's waiting to meet you. This is this is Adam Gaines. It's Gladys's boy from California. Hello. How are you? Well, you know, he looks like Gladys. Why don't you go out to the kitchen with the men folks, huh? Well, now. Oh. Oh, no, that's not. Yes. Oh. And I graduated. Oh. How those two were coming. You can't miss the camera drive-in movie. <laughs> Joe, you showed him where to turn off at Route 10. Adam, it is so sweet of you to invite Jerry Jo. You know she just loves movies. Don't they look cute together in that car? <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla ice cream. Will you go to A and P and get some? Well, I see your boss and your future son-in-law already, Verna. <laughs> no. <laughs> 